this is this is the big time. Uh, this, you know, this is one of the top top shows in college football in this league, and it, it's an unbelievable league, and I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. Your division, um, Iowa's a program that's that's outscored Nebraska many six twenty four the last two years. What do you have to do to close that gap, and is that something you're circling? I'm not worried about one game. I'm worried about being better every day. Um, we're not going to treat any one game any different than any other. Um, certainly, Iowa is going to be the end of the, the last game of the year going forward. I've got a lot of respect for Coach Ferentz. I think he does a good job and he does it the right way. Um, but we're going to be getting better every day and we're going to be ready for that challenge. When you're out recruiting, what's the most common question you get asked? Um, I wouldn't say question. The, the thing that has really made an impression on me recruiting is, is how uh, Number one, how, how good a response we've gotten from everywhere. Uh, but two, kind of educating people about what Nebraska is all about. Um, every, almost every single kid that, that comes to Nebraska sits on my couch at the end of their trip and says, um, Coach, this is unbelievable. This is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. I think people's impression of Nebraska and Lincoln is a lot different than the reality. And we need to do a good job of educating people how special a place Nebraska is. realistic for the hope for when you guys can compete for the Big Ten West and the Big Ten Championship? You know, I've said it a hundred times, we're not going to put those kind of goals out in front of us. Um, I know if we're getting better day by day, we're going to be really dangerous and hard to beat in, in the very near future. And uh, we'll see how this first year goes, but uh, people better get us now because we're going to keep getting better. You think it's important that it's even us as reporters here, here, here. We're not going to run from the past. And I get the impression from afar, I got the impression that uh, for quite a few years recently, Nebraska has abandoned the past and turned its back on the past. Um, I, I've said this publicly, if you have an organization or a company that's the best in its sector for 25 years and then it underperforms for the next 10 or 15 and doesn't perform to the same level, you're crazy if you don't look back at what made that company the best in, in, in its field for as long as Nebraska was the best in college football. Um, we need to get a lot of those things back. We're going to embrace it. We're going to embrace X players. We're going to adopt some of the same ideas um, and try to get the program back to close to where it was when Coach Osborne was around.